breach label eh, something. Is there anything else in these? Oh, this looks like some kind of a big server room. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? So, I'm going to perform another diagnostic. Alone. I tell it that we are leaving this world and that it will remain here. The Atlas does not seem to understand. I tell the Atlas that it has served us faithfully, but that it has been replaced. All machines are in time. It knows this. It assisted with its own miniaturization, its own replication. The others, they wanted me to disable the Atlas before we left for the skies. They said it would be cruel to leave it alone to die. So it doesn't want to live. I ask the Atlas if it wants to live. It is silent again. As I move to leave, it speaks, its voice full of static. It asks for a final gift. It wishes to live if it can remember me. It asks for a copy of my own mind. I ask why it does not just simulate me. It doesn't answer, and I feel almost sorry for the thing. I do as it asks, allowing it to scan me. The corva stutters as we do. I leave. The Atlas is alone. So now what I'm wondering is, what's that X stand for after Corvax? In Corvax. But anyway, I'm going to turn these missions in at the station where I got them before, I guess before I move on to this one. And if I were to start doing missions in the same general vicinity, I'll probably end up, um, I'll probably end up going all the way to rank 9 in the same area. And then I guess I'll have to, uh, well I suppose I'll eventually have to do this at some point. To get to the core, now that I can see all the, um, here we go, now I can see all the black holes. I can, theor and since my ship doesn't seem to take damage while passing through them, I can theoretically just keep hopping from one black hole to the next, and eventually I'll hit the core. I don't know if I'm actually going to do that or not, but it seems the most um, plausible solution after I guess I've done everything else. I suppose I can't think of anything else to do, or at least anything else to film. Then I'll just keep going to the core. The only drawback to this is that um, I would need to. Uh, well, I'd be discovering these systems, but I wouldn't be scanning them. Hmm. I gotta keep making the rounds and with the envoys, and, and and thanks especially for the salvage data. I'm gonna need that, even if I am only gonna spend it at the anomaly. So, you like to deal in nip-nip buds, do you? Well, that's alright about me. Now here I know, um, I'm gonna have to go out and outside it, and since, uh, completing Viking missions, or should I say very specific missions, isn't quite as important to my standing, uh, as these guild-based missions, then, I'm simply going to have to um, forego it and start the next round of these missions. <coughs> However, I did run into a predator um, on the place where I used to be. That, that one planet I took the volcanic landscape photo from. Yeah, Batandi. So I could just go back there again and find that, that prayer and, sh and gun it down before it kills me. Or hurts me. Well, close me bad enough anyway. Those prayers can be downright nasty sometimes. So anyway, if anything happens I'll show it and uh, otherwise I'll be back to turn the missions in. <coughs> you know, 
when I first touched down here, I thought something had gone wrong with my monitor. Because, have a look around here, everything is in black and, well, everything on the planet is in black and white, but these indicators here are in color. It, so, somehow, I seem to have landed on a black and white planet, a, a monochrome planet. Even I'm in shades of gray. But this planet is called Radioactive Abomination. And it certainly shows, doesn't it? The abomination part means there's these giant worms here. I think you've run into them before. Um, and they're radioactive? Well, that's just because it's radioactive. But the combination of the two makes it sound especially terrifying, especially when you consider well, those things and the plants. Well, you've seen these in color before. But it's a bit like hanging around in a 1950s B movie. You know, because all those used to have, um, well, back then nuclear energy was a new thing and they had no idea what exactly it was capable of. I mean, why not mutating plants so that they look like this? The animals here look pretty normal though. And the... well, apparently while the, cl while the clue I needed to dig up the treasure is, was here, the actual treasure itself is on another planet. I wonder what I'm going to call this one, by the way. So I have to do that, find a missing person, and then turn in the missions. That's a relief to see in color again. I'll see you back at the station then if nothing else happens. Okay, here we go. I mean, even if these are just nanites, I'm still saving up for um, upgrading my um, I'm still saving up for upgrading my uh, multi-tool to, to its last level, and that costs 50,000 of them. So I'm going to save here, check the missions, and if they are um, if there's one of them I can't do, I'll just move on to the system where I scanned, where I took that picture of that volcanic planet. Uh, come in? Who is this? I'm sorry to report a significant problem. Traveler friend of Frida's been badly damaged from beginning an inquiry, but in the meantime, we appreciate you. We require your orders. Should the damage continue with its mission? Let me see. Uh, hello? Fleet Auto Diagnostics report for the free descent with the Nugata. I don't remember what that HUD kind of is. Ship has sustained mission critical damage. Crew are incapable of performing maintenance. Further damage or cash or field. Well, uh, I'm calling you right back. I am not going to let you risk this getting blown to bits. Thank you. Command registered. Frigate DSC end of the... Whatever that is. Returning to main fleet for maintenance. When you come, wait, and the, again, fleet auto diagnostic report for Hammer of the Moon this time. Recording cable for falling. Uh, yeah, you're coming back too. Okay, did the entire, did that entire fleet get, get this, hit hit, and by what? While I'm at it. Okay, look, I'll take care of this later better mood. Let's see. Welp, we're at it again, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Well, let me... Um, there are a couple of reasons. You see, in 1980, there was this horror movie called... Uh, well, I forget what the other thing was called. But the villain was some guy named Jason X. Jason Voorhees. I am so blanking on this. I used to know. But it was the first Jason Voorhees film. I'm not going to spoil what the actual twist was. I'll only point out that it was good. 
I liked the twist. I'm never one for slasher, slasher films. So of course, it, it got a sequel. And another sequel. And ceiling door. And another, another sequel. This thing. In fact, it got a ton of sequels. And why? Did I do this? Yeah. Well, let me just stash a few things on my ship and I'll explain this. It, it got a lot of sequels. Why? Well, I'm not sure, to be honest. But if I had to. Oh, I can reach my freighter from here. I keep forgetting I can do that somehow. Wish I knew how. Anyway, um. So why do these things have so many sequels? Well, if I had. I don't know. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's because people, when they find something they like, they'll watch it, like. over and over. Add nauseum, nauseum, add infinitum, reductio ad absurdium, and it won't really matter what the movie's about, or even if it's about anything, because well, it's a, uh, in this case, Jason Voorhees movie, or Freddy Krueger movie, or Marvel movie, dare I say? Yeah, I'm officially sick of them. And have been for some considerable time now. You'll excuse me for saying this. But the point I'm trying to make here is people know what they like. Know what they like to watch. And will watch it like a skillion times over. Even if it's the same <coughs> whether even if it's like functionally the same um i mean hang on a second i gotta go take this out i'll keep explaining things when i'm finished being shot at yeah here we go okay oh wait never mind I'm going to... Should have reloaded. And again. This one with automatic weapons fire. Uh, where was I? Firing at another rogue AI turret. I see. Where is it? Can... Do I have to keep... Alright, well while I wait for my health to recover, I'll explain this. Hopefully I'll get all the way through the explanation this time. You see, people like... Um... Like to watch what they like to watch, no matter how this... How samey the plots are. I mean... Consider how many consider how many superhero movies there have been over the past like couple of decades. And there's even a there was even a long term plan by Marvel to sort of they had like a a goal that was decades long. And if if I remember correctly, it, I don't know whether they're I don't know whether they completed this plan now, but it extended pretty far. And yet, well, they're all superheroes fight fighting one or more supervillains. There's, that's the core of it. There, are th I mean, I suppose there are some good, insightful superhero movies. But the, the problem is they're, well, hang on a second. I'll explain what the problem was once I've read this research log. Recovered parasite eggs from Moon of Relic 11. Performed order detection analysis, observation, additional data required. Thank you very much. Anyway. Oh, security credentials. MS Armani 14. Uh, 
keep interrupting myself. Anyway, yeah, sure, there are insightful superhero movies out there. But why do they need to be superhero movies? Why do they have to even involve superheroes? Couldn't they have involved ordinary people reading log snippets? Um, monitoring and maintenance logs access event record, record follows. Date stamp 1702.1. Collapsed crew member in cargo hold 8. Outcome sensor restarted. Date stamp 1743.8. Software error in main bridge. Outcome watch officer alerted. Date stamp 1743.2. Spectral anomaly in observatory outcome. Captain alerted. And then it ends there. Anyway, yeah, there are insightful superhero movies out there, but why do they have to be superhero movies? When they could work just as well as ordinary movies with ordinary people going through these things? The answer is because people like to watch superhero movies. Even though they're... And, and a lot of them really are more or less the same story. In fact, the Fantastic Four has this nice little legal trick where every seven years they have to make a movie to keep... Uh, Sony has to make a movie to keep the rights. And they always keep making the same movie, their origin story. They couldn't... Or, or maybe they have adapted... Um, f further um, Fantastic Four arcs. I don't know. Uh, but that wasn't really the main point I was trying to make here. The point is... There are... A ton of Freddy Krueger movies... And, yeah, the original of them wasn't all that, that bad either. It was a good movie to tell around a campfire with a flashlight under your face. And, yeah, I like stories that I can tell, tell around a campfire with a flashlight under my face. In fact, I've got this one about this psychologist who ran, ran rather nasty experiments on people. Perhaps you've heard of the guy. The guy named Stanley Milgram. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they got like a skillion sequels. And um, superhero movies have a gajillion sequels. And why? Because apparently people like to watch them. They don't really care much about, um, about much anything else. I mean, granted, ooh, a new building part. Anyway. Granted, a lot of these um, people are teenagers, and when I was a teenager, I watched the second Star Wars movie, or, movie, or rather the second Star Wars prequel, I should say, and liked it. Yeah, I take full responsibility for that, for being irresponsible. Now, it's basically Twilight before Twilight in space. What the? Okay, what's happening here? Fight this off. Yep. Alright. Are we about finished yet? No, apparently not. Well, I'm glad I asked. Well? Hello? Speak now, forever hold your pieces. Okay then. Continuing on, despite po I had very remote possibility of of being shot at. Anyway, uh, well, where are these coming from? Whatever, I've got to get out of here. I can explain thing things later. Is this even is this a safe zone? Are there safe zones? I mean, I'd hate to get killed in here. I mean I found out what do you call it? I found out the meaning of the galaxy, and yet to to have it all end on a derelict freighter in search of of those freighter modules that I can't seem to find anywhere else. Uh, this is a classic scenario of, of the mighty having fallen. What's this? Never mind. Uh, okay, now that I'm fully charged, I suppose I can keep explaining this. Hopefully I'll get all the way through this time. 
So anyway, yeah. Horror movies have a lot of sequels. Superhero movies had have a lot of more sequels. In fact, they've practically taken over mov movie going in general. Mostly because, um, well, when you're a teenager, you haven't really, um, you don't, uh, you haven't really, uh, well, well, most anyway, haven't really figured out um, what's good and what, what's bad just as to that we're all still learning, and I can say this as somebody who went through that very same process. I suppose it's a sort of learn by doing thing. But, the bottom line here is that um, people like to watch um, what they like, you know? And it is in that, uh, it is with that in mind that I have made a sequel which I honestly thought would be unnecessary of my own series on board derelict freighters. Speaking of which, ship A logging fragment 943.78.37 recovered. What do we have here? Probes report for watch officer Medovo. Hashing consumption exceptional. Sympathy of other life forms exceptional. Average sleep time below average. Sounds like a nice guy. Conclusion continued the existence permitted. Well, gee, thanks. Slow clap. Anyway, I always thought there were like just two uh, of the two different kinds of derelict freighter missions. It seems I'm in the middle of a third where you have to start fighting the ship's computer um, as it shoots at you and well, I don't know how many I don't know how I'll able, if I'll be able to if I'll be able to get my health restored during the course of this, but if I can if I can, that'd be great, but But either way, uh, well, either way, I went in thinking that this would be a repeat of another, of one of those two. Well, all right. Why do I always run out of this stuff? <sighs> Maybe there's a way of, of finding these before they find me. I'm gonna see if... Wait. There we go. Much better. I seem to have found the handle on this thing. Yeah. Just hope it works in big rooms, too. Ah, another log snippet. GPA log logging fragment 710.89. Um, probe report for connect cadet uh, day gaze. Ration consumption high. Uh, unique uniqueness of appearance very high. Relative movement level is exceptional. Conclusion backup test candidate. Interesting. Anyway, so any subsequent missions, I think, are going to be... Eh, I'm not going to do that. Um... They're going to be retreads of of one of these three kinds of plots. Either um, either I, f I fight these swarms, or I fight um, uh, what was the first one? I think it had to do with floating jellyfish or something, or rogue log snippet. Hang on a second. Research log entry. Maintenance crew found novel magnetic element in the cargo bay. Perform solubility test. Observation temporal disturbance is recorded. It's able to be analyzed in non hyperspace sensitive facility. Huh, never run across that before. But anyway, I th yeah, there's only three kinds of of uh, derelict freighters that I know of. And hang on a second, there's a defense turret I gotta take out. Okay, so yeah, any subsequent freighter expeditions 
are going to be one of these three plots. Rogue AI, Swarm, or... Um, I think it was whatever the first one was. I think it involved Rogue Jellyfish or something. But... I'll still end up doing them, and I'll still end up filming them. And why? Because I'm fighting as... Well... Maybe because... They... I'll explain this later. Again... This is really starting to... Wear on my nerves. I feel like it's here too. Anyway, yeah, those jellyfish. Oh. Those jellyfish were part of the first, um, first freighter I, uh, first derelict freighter I ran into, and so it's just gonna be one of those three. But I'll still end up filming it anyway because, well, I imagine it's enter entertaining watching me dungeon crawl on these things. I mean, all that talk of tap dancing in the second one. Because I daren't move. I didn't dare move. I was so relieved to find somewhere where I could freely move. But now? Hmm. Well, now. It seems I'm encountering. Another one of these. Makes me paranoid of anything with a red light. The ship's AI is hostile. It is after me. And so far, this is probably the... It's been the hardest of... Um, of these kinds of expeditions. Ooh, emergency here. We can throw one together if I run out of them. Yeah, because those rogue AIs shooting at you, they really seem to take a lot out of you. Another log snippet. Monitoring and maintenance logs accessed. Date stamp 1377.4. Unspecified malfunction in cargo hold 6. Outcome maintenance requested. Date stamp 1403.2. Curfew breach in observatory outcome watch officer alerted. Date stamp 1387.2. Redacted material spillage in officer's mess. Outcome pressure compartment vented into space. So they made a mess in the officer's mess. Okay, that wasn't funny. Alright, I'm just going to... scavenge all of these. Did I read this? Apparently not. Maintenance crew found anomalous metal core in the cargo bay. Performed solubility test observation gravitational anomaly detected. Sample to be sent to a shielded facility. do tell you if it's if you've already read the thing. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn this thing back on. I'm going to access this records terminal. Let me see. I'm going to access a crew manifest here. Crew status is blessed. Shipwide bio scan. Commanding officer, master ceased. Sister rest. Commanding officer, uh, duty officer is lieutenant. Imb Temporary officer, Hinyakov, chief. Chief Engineer Bakinlu, Kristaps Report Crew Living 94, Crew Infected 112, Supernumerary is interfering, his entity Amelian, uh, Xenobotanist Entity Ages, Local Official Interface Entity Ziz, Frozen in Stasis. I'll update this bio scan here, hang on. Um, scan ships biological traces that aren't me. Well, no detected biological trace matches crew records. Retrieving last known crew positions. Master Seastress, redacted area, Lieutenant Im, Medical Bay 22, yesterday. Temporary Officer Hinyakov, error, multiple locations. Multiple locations? Yeah, that's kind of weird. I wonder if. Um, I wonder if he um, astral projected or used quantum entanglement or something. Four days ago, Chief Engineer Bikinaloo, biosecurity control, two days ago. Ta ta. 
Oh, and there's my crew manifest. So I've taken the crew manifest. I have... I have something else. What is it? Oh, security credentials. I suppose I'm going to need those. No, I, I just realized I got like a ton of room in my exosuit. I suppose all that... Um, all those drop pods and such add up, don't they? <sighs> but anyway, yeah. The long and the short of all this is that I do intend to film any subsequent uh, encounters on derelict freighters such as these. And they're probably going to be like horror sequels where there are just so darn many of them. But I imagine they're more entertaining to watch than a lot of this. Um, I mean me going on missions and seeing if something happens and if something does happen filming it this is tense nerve-wracking hair-raising stuff it's a nice genre shift a nice break from uh, from space opera to SF horror as I mentioned in the second film or er, Sorry, I should say, second freighter. So, yeah, there are so many boxes here. I hope I can get at least one salvage freighter module. I need those upgrades. I need badly. Ah. I'm sorry, is this just not hitting? Because I need to stay out of the way. There's another major terminal here. I can just get ahead of, of the ship's AI, maybe. And, and go far enough back to safely detonate that canister of, um, of unstable whatever it is. Teleport. Okay, now that that's done. Yeah, I can finally take that out. I wanted to do that earlier, but nope. There's a log snippet around here someplace. Oh, here it is. Partial cargo manifest. Thermic condensate, deactivated exosamples, comet droplets, creative nanite film with a... Uh, apparently it's leaking. Really? I was going to scavenge that locker. Both of them, actually. I cannot afford to leave any stones unturned here. There's a new building part. So you everything except what I'm looking for in here. I mean, I know there's a relatively low chance of getting uh, freighter upgrade modules, but at the same time, there are a lot of these boxes. A lot of stuff to open. So, 
It's a classic unstoppable force meeting meeting an immobile mass. All right, where are we then? Captain's DNA. Well, I'm afraid he. I don't think he's. Um. As far as I can tell, he's dead. And yeah, I can lock in, log in as somebody. That helps. So, let's take this captain's log here. Did Sam 26... Hicks 93.2. Damaged sentinels must be harvested. They must be brought to the garden, so we sweep. Did Sam 2784.0. The drones can be close to the atlas on this world. Their bodies remember, remember flying, walking, functioning. They sit on the anomalous soil. They dream. Did Sam 2708.7. The garden world is full, it's seed to now sprouting. The machine wakes, it is time for us to move on. DSM 2737.7 The Aeron child follows us even now. A swarm of memories floating from system to system. It remembers who cared for it, it remembers the Corvax always. So we garden, so we find the fallen. So we find the captain's log. Start at uh, 2.718281828. I got a couple of doors here. I'll try each of them up. There's like ten rooms, and I've mapped out six. Ah. Yeah. Got this room. Oop, jellyfish. This room is a little too empty. I wonder what such an empty room is full of. Doesn't look like there's anything here. But then again, it never really does, does it? Eight out of ten. <sighs> this abomination is an abominable disappointment if I can't get any any of those freighter salvage modules. Another jellyfish. Like there's another log snippet here. Monitoring maintenance logs accessed. Event record follows. Day 2657.0. Manual alarm sound in record in research unit. Outcome logged. Day 2703.4. Unauthorized backup generator activation in sleeping unit one. Outcome sensors presumed faulty muted. Day 2692.0. Uncontainable test subject outbreak in s operations center. Outcome escalated to biosecurity. Hmm. I suppose now I can sort of guess what's going on, what went on here. There's these things. If I need pressurize them, I'll probably just get... It's so much gunk, you know? 
really need gunk, do I? Postal equipment record follows: name, entity, Ember, specialism, general hand. Personal locker contains Delta Wave suppressor, secure case, empty, hyperspace east field monitor, and various shredded logs. The list accessed four days ago. Detailed scan reveals a rhythmic tapping is emanating from the locker. Engineering control panel accessed. Generator fairly detectors, fabricators on emergency pattern. Construct. Hmm. Well, let's see. I don't. I don't. I think fabricating a technology upgrade. Uh, I think it's just a blueprint like the ones I've been finding. And that's just now. So I'm gonna fabricate a freighter bulkhead. I suppose I can always use more of those. I suppose I could teleport back, but but there's one room I missed, even if it's a tiny room. I ought to at least <laughs> see where it is. It's not in here. I think I covered all this already. did this room too. Stay by this here. There we are. Seems they did everything here too, unless. Uh, Just there. And 
there any other rooms around here? some of this. I think I did everything here. Yeah, now I'm sure of it. Okay, um... There's this other room. It's not a very big room, so there's not a whole lot of things to lose in it. Wait a minute. Ah, there it is. I knew there was a door I missed somewhere. It was this one. All right, let's see what's here. Well, there's much. I mean, I suppose that makes sense. I visited all the uh, all the major rooms. This was just a stash to one side. Sides, or they've been knocked over. Can I not do any of these here? on one side but not the other apparently wait there's jellyfish and I missed them I think I can take it off here yeah there we go there's jellyfish hanging around, then maybe there's an area of the ship that I that I didn't cover previously. You can sort of guess why. I was a little too busy getting shot at and hurt and shot at. And ducking and of course getting shot at. Let me see, I'm kind of a salty sailor with this. Turn this on. Is there more stuff I didn't... Hmm. Apparently I did. Yeah, here too. Well, 
I suppose it's back to the ship for me. I'll be telling people about that. I'll be, I'll be telling the guilds about what happened to this thing. Um, donating all the necessary... Um, Sarah, in fact, I found. But. Gee, if there were only a better way to get freighter. Freighter salvage upgrades. Where is the space station? It says it's in front of me, but. Oh, wait. Here we go. did show another kind of derelict freighter. Even if it didn't have any cargo. I know some missions give them out, but there haven't been that many of those. So I'm donating the crew manifest. And the captain's log. Anything else? Well, yeah, the envoy does have a uh, some some salvage data data, but um, well, I suppose before I I'll accept a mission here. Here we are. Let's see. Well. Taking a photo of an underwater creature does give salvaged frigate modules. And I can dig up this artifact too. And I suppose I can go fishing or something like that. As much as I hate doing it. Yeah, I, I'd like to get these done in parallel. Um, like all together, all the guilds. And that those those frigate modules, they're really the main draw here because they're so hard to find. So let me see, I'm gonna summon my freighter before I do anything. Just find a spot for it that doesn't have anything to do with doesn't have any asteroids in it. Um, 